I mentioned to you earlier about uh, a couple things about the search tools, the fact that you can find any any tool in MicroStation. So let's say I need to place an elevation. I got an empty spot here that the front elevation needs to be to be placed at. So what I'm going to do, let me rotate this to a, um, in this case, just to a top view. And let me go find that tool. So I'll type in ELEV, and you'll see it start to kind of pare down the list of all the tools. First off, added um, to update uh, 12 was this little tool here, set element information. This actually physically sets the ele elevations from the sieve tools. The one I want is called elevation callout, and you know I'll just uh, select it. Well, that's a quick way for me to find that if I just pick this icon. But I also can select this access point, which basically changes my uh, particular um, workflow and takes me to that location that I need to be in. So if I was on a, that probably wasn't a too much of a an example here, but like if I was to select elevation again and I select it, watch that happens. It jumps from view over to annotate and there's the tools, that I, or there are the tools that I need right there. Before I do that, I'm going to start with drawing boundary and talk a little bit about this. All right, so what does this do? This place is kind of a placeholder, if you will, onto the sheet itself. So I can later on uh, set a detail, an elevation, a plan, whatever it happens to be. So I'm going to just call this elevation just for the sake of time. Uh, and I'm going to tell it what type of drawing is going to get placed onto that sheet. In this case, an elevation. One of the new features is this one here, the fact that I can set the detail scale. In this case, 3 8 That's an important one to have. Uh, we'll set that. And what I'll do is I'm going to place this with two points. So I'm going to snap to this location here. And I'm going to place it right here and drop in my um, you know, place elevation call out which you'll notice kind of just is a bunch of text right now, but as soon as I give a data point, hit a reset, you'll see it fills it out. Why does it fill it out? Those are fields, folks. They're automatically populated and filled in. Why is this important? Well, as I'm sitting here looking at this, I need to place that front elevation. And if we remember, the elevation tool goes ahead. When I ran, when I typed in elevation, It helped me find this tool here called Place Elevation Callout, which I'll just pick what I'm placing. I'm placing an elevation view. Uh, this is all good. Uh, I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to be looking this way at the uh, geometry. And what I wanted to show you is on the Create Drawing dialog, number one, you'll see a, a couple of the detail scales that are here. That's relatively new. The visible edges being set, set to cache uh, is, is new. But it allows me to then go through this, um, you know, create drawing tool that you see here and say, well, all right, I want this to be uh, using this particular seed. I want to use a particular scale. In this case, it needs to be 3 8 I want the visible edges, and this is one new feature that it's set to dynamic. Okay, that's an important one. And then when we take a look down in, in here, what sheet it needs to go on. So instead of creating a brand new sheet, I'm going to put it on an existing sheet. And I'm going to tell it I want it to go right here. I want it to go on where I just created that drawing boundary. And whatever drawing boundaries are within that sheet are displayed in this little drop down here. It has an identifier of six. Uh, a drawing boundary they placed in there. And it's an elevation. If you remember, I set that. The name is called Elevation. I set that as well just a second ago with the Drawing Boundary tool. I'll pick it. I'll set that to be uh, 3 8 as well and click OK. So what does it do? It creates that elevation. It puts it on the sheet in the right location. Those were all new things that were, were added uh, you know, to that workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
thank you and see you next time.